What is going on guys? Welcome to Greg Ellis TV. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the built-in PC slash mouse pointer feature on your Galaxy Z Fold 5. Now, this should work with any Galaxy Z Fold and it's going to work with flex mode. So I'm going to show you how to do all of that. So first of all, you need to have auto rotate on. So make sure you have your auto rotate settings on. I have it on right there. And just make sure that it is turned on. From there, you wanna go home and then go back into settings. So once you're in settings, what you wanna do now is you wanna go down to where it says advanced features and then labs and then flex mode panel. So click on flex mode panel, make sure it's turned on at the top and then go to the bottom here and you see apps to show flex mode panel automatically in and I had like two selected by default, but you can turn all supported apps on or you can just have some of them, whatever you want. And then all you do is just go into some of these apps, like basically any of these apps. So I'll open up my browser and in Chrome, you're gonna open it to like flex mode and turn it this way so it rotates. And you can see it automatically pops open this down here. And down here, I'm just gonna, Oops, that's too much. Let's do it a little bit. There we go. So I can see the whole thing. So here I've got a couple of buttons. I got a button right here that brings up my app. So I can click on an app, for instance, and it'll open on the bottom half, which I don't want that to happen. So I'm just gonna close that out. I have another app that's going to bring down my notifications. I have another app that's gonna take a screenshot. So it takes a screenshot and you can do anything you want with the screenshot. I also have a button down here that removes and shows the touchpad. And then I have another button here that allows me to go to my screen brightness or to go to my volume or to just basic settings. So if I have it on right here, just to show you, I'll go back to here, get this out of here. All right, cool. So I have my touchpad now and hopefully you can see my mouse moving around and I can use it just like I would anything. So I can use two fingers to scroll like you would on a website. So you can use it as like a, a computer type thing. It can tap to load something up. You can zoom in like you could on a, like I know Macs do that, actually laptops do it. And I can click on different tabs and, and things like, you know, like you would on, uh, on the website. So it's actually pretty cool to be able to do this. Obviously it makes the screen extremely small, but you can still do it. Here's the Amazon app and you can do it in there as well. You can do it basically in any app that you want that allows for it. And basically it just allows you to use your phone like you would a computer, like with a touchpad and a laptop. So I, don't, I, I can't think of too many reasons I would personally want to do this personally, but I thought it was pretty cool. I saw it, um, an article written about it on um, Sam Mobile, and I was like, yeah, let me make a video on that. It's pretty cool. So there you guys go. Kind of interesting to see that kind of stuff and just close it and it goes back to normal and you always have it and it's that easy. And if you want to turn it off, just go back into where I showed you it was before. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and we'll see you down the road.